Once it's locked in its jaws, the deer doesn't stand a chance. The snake's coils tighten, stopping the blood flow to the deer's organs, suffocating the 30 kilogram prey in minutes. But it will take hours to swallow. And for such a large kill, the snake must force its windpipe out of its mouth to avoid suffocation. Once the snake has finally finished swallowing its prey, its body performs a unique evolutionary trick going into digestive overdrive. Its heart and liver grow by 40%, dissolving the entire animal in just a week. So here I am looking at that snake. Now, if you look just over my shoulder, there's another snake. It's been here the whole time, right there. Literally at face height. Another snake up here. Oh my God. Seeing a golden lance head in the wild for the first time, it's been just an amazingly special moment. It's why I became a scientist. I'm a kid in the candy store with all these snakes around me. So beautiful. But on the other hand, I of course have to be aware at all times of danger to myself and of course danger to the rest of the team. If somebody gets bit, it could end up absolutely catastrophic. So for every snake you see, there's 10 more. <sighs> Scary ass place. Another snake up here. We've got a snake on the path, and that's a pretty good sized one. That's incredible. Looking just like a pile of old leaves. And that's perfect that's ambush cool. position right there. What a beauty. So remember, don't step. Damn it! Go, 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 go! A horrifying scenario that plays out in Illinois as one pet African rock python is escaping his cage and slithering toward three year old Jesse Altum. Nobody hears the silent killer. respond to reports of an unresponsive child. They enter upon a gruesome scene. Young Jesse, dead. Captain Richard Densmore of the Centralia Police Department is called to investigate. There were some obvious bite marks. They were in the upper neck area around the chin, the neck, and the upper chest area, and constriction marks were around the upper chest area. Later, an autopsy confirms the horrifying cause of death, asphyxiation by compression, the telltale tactic of a constrictor. The autopsy is an unforgettable tragedy, yet it proves even as pets, African rock pythons can cause human fatalities. This is pretty exciting. To be honest, I'm a little bit nervous, mostly that we get this. Oh, got it. Yes. OK, this is a good sign. She got her first coils around the snake. Is the sensor going to pick that up? Oh, yeah. we got Kevin is shaking the pig to emulate the movement of a live, struggling prey. This helps the python maintain its feeding response. 
as it gets that coil around, it begins contracting its muscles, and they generate tremendous crush pressure or circumferential pressure. 170 millimeters of mercury. Almost twice mean pressure in a, in a mammal. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like taking a dish Oh my gosh, that's really high. A healthy blood pressure reading for a human is 120 millimeters of mercury. The pressure inside the pig is already double that, at 250 millimeters. It's enough to cause fainting, a stroke, or even death in most mammals. It's not that the snake is actually suffocating its prey. It doesn't it, seem it's to be. It's doing something completely different. It's causing, uh, essentially, obstructive shock of the circulatory system. We huh. see pressures that simply exceed the ability of the heart to compress. So all of that pressure is focused, and it turns Thank you.